I heard him into the dirt with this tire. Uh, there we go. He's no longer trapped. He's no longer traumatized and scared of the sand. He's free to live his life on the island as a free pig. Eventually, we're going to build him a pen, though. Hey, hey, how's it going? Spy here and welcome back to another Stranded Deep episode. And today, what we are going to be doing is we are going to be building a few new things on our island here. And that includes a brand new helipad for the gyrocopter way over here. Now, if you haven't noticed, I moved everything that was over here all the way over to the other side of the island where our new house is right here. We got some raft stuff right there. And then over here, we got the building supplies area with the crafting stations. Wow, it looks nice. So this took me a few days in game, but I managed to transition everything over to this side of the island. To get this gyrocopter helipad started, we need to find a good location. Now I was thinking I wanted to do it right on top of that hill there, but that is super complicated to build up on top of that mountain. I tried putting down some foundations and stuff on top, but it wouldn't work. So we can build this like this, right? But we can't build it up top. So what we might have to do is just build it on the ground for now. But in the future, I might build something up on top of that mountain if I figure out how. So we're just gonna have to build something simple here. Maybe just a bunch of these foundations together. So maybe like over here would be good. Kind of like in the water, but not really in the water. There's like a lot of room over here. So maybe like right here would be a good spot. So this is gonna be the start to our helipad. We're gonna build more of these foundations like this. You guys may be wondering, what else are you gonna do this episode? Well, I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go on a journey, finally, with the gyrocopter. You guys have been waiting for that. We're gonna go fly out into the ocean with our tiny little helicopter and explore a bit. I got a full tank of fuel in that beauty. So we're gonna see how that goes. Do I need more sticks? I, I do. Luckily, I chopped a bunch of trees down, so we got this huge pile of wood just sitting here for the taking. My hard work, just laying on the ground. And I think in the middle of this little helipad, I'm going to use the corrugated metal over there. So it looks like that's where we have to land, right in the middle. Now, if you guys are enjoying Stranded Deep on the channel and you would like to see more, make sure to leave a like on this video. Smash the like button with a gyrocopter or a little pig. Smash it with a pig. <laughs> Or pig. And if you have any suggestions on what you would like to see on the island here, let me know. I'm not too sure what else to build. All I can really do is expand our house there and the raft eventually. Now the corrugated foundation goes right in the middle. This may be a waste. It took me a bit to find this, but it'll look nice, I guess. So here we go. So we're just going to get a nice wood step like this. Oh, there we go. I think this is good for now. We got a little helipad. Now we need to add the lantern. Oh, I got so much wood in my inventory. <laughs> I got a bunch of lanterns that I found out in the ocean. They're in one of these containers right there. So we got three. I'm going to use all of them, make it in like a little triangle shape so we can see it during the night. So pop one right here. Okay. Doesn't have to stand up. We'll have one right here. And then one right here and turn these on. It should be illuminated during the night. We'll be able to see that once we come back from our helicopter expedition, which I think we're ready for already. Do you guys like the little helipad? I don't know if I do. It's pretty simple. It's nice. Now let's go get the gyrocopter and test out the helipad. Okay, here we go. Oh, I haven't flown this for a while, but it looks good. Okay, go up. Watch out, seagulls. Don't want to chop you up with my propellers. I don't think I can. Oh, there it is. There's our helipad. It actually looks really nice. It's in a nice spot too. So we're gonna come over here, land right in the middle, right here. Perfect, perfect. Let's hop out and take a look at it. Wow, oh, <laughs> I like it. All right, so now we're gonna prepare for our expedition. I have some water on me, three servings of water, should be good. Just need to grab some food. Boom, bang. Hold on, I got an idea for the piggy. Now I forget his name, I think, Oh, there we go. I think I remember. I think I named him Wilson. So we're going to just name him Wilson. There we go. Uh, Wilson! <laughs> Finally, he has a name. He just runs in circles there. That's how he exercises. He's scared of sand. And this whole beach is sand. So he just runs around on the rocks. I should make him a little pen and figure out how to get him off of that little tiny rock island. Let's see. 
Got to hurt, hurt him into the dirt with this tire. Dude, get out. <laughs> he is not moving. There we go. He's no longer trapped on the beach. He's no longer traumatized and scared of the sand. He's free to live his life on the island as a free pig. Eventually, we're going to build him a pen, though. Because he's Wilson. He's our best friend. He's our only friend in this game. I won't eat Wilson. I ate his brother already. <laughs> but not him. <laughs> Let's head out, finally. Now, where am I going? I don't know. We can't really go too far because I heard this gyrocopter only has enough fuel for like two or so trips to islands and back. So we're going to have to be really careful. There's our fuel gauge right there. It shows it too. Oh, it's going down fast. <laughs> That's not good. I guess we're going to this island over here. Chop some of these trees down, get some wood, whatever I can find because I no longer have any wood on my main island behind us. Oh, this island has a lot of trees. That's good because I need some more wood. I need to get some more scrap and whatever I can find. It might have been good to bring the raft, but I promised you guys that... We're doing a gyrocopter adventure. I explored most of these islands. As you can see, there's a tree right there that was chopped down. That was from a while ago. Okay, we're landing here. We got a lot of fuel. Uh, about three quarters of our tank of fuel. And it was full right when we left. Time to do some collecting. Do some collecting. See what we can grab. Is it really worth it to come here with a helicopter and get as much resources as possible? I should have probably brought a, bu a bunch more crates because I don't have much inventory space, do I? Not really. I don't know why I'm grabbing these because I have a lot of leaves at home. I'm just going to drop my crate right here and we're going to throw some stuff in here. Whatever we find, really. I could grab this clay, though. Clay is super useful. Well, there wasn't much in the water at all. Just got a little bit of clay. And now I think it is time to get a little bit of wood from these trees because it is already starting to get dark. That was super fast, actually. So let's try to get our inventory completely full up on wood, including that little crate, and then head back home and see what we managed to collect from this place in one gyrocopter trip. And I think my inventory is actually full already, and the crate is pretty full. I wasn't really, oh no, I wasn't really able to grab too much and I just realized that to pick up this crate. I need to have one extra slot, so I'm going to drop these palm fronds. I have a little bit at home. I don't really need them. So grab this, and our inventory is now full, and it is turning night pretty soon. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to wait for complete darkness, and then fly the gyrocopter back home to see how illuminated our helipad actually is. Which way was it? I think it was east. Okay, that's our island over there. I was scared. I was scared. I was already lost. Don't get lost out in the middle of the ocean during night with a DIY helicopter. I think this is pretty much complete darkness. We should probably head back home now. So here we go. We gotta head east. East or southeast? I think it I think it was this way. It was like southeast or east. About a hundred degrees east. Somewhere around there. <laughs> okay, here we go. Don't wanna go too high. The helicopter does beep. Which isn't the greatest. Now, one trip does seem like it is about half your tank. So, I, I probably have one more trip with this helicopter. But I, I'm not really sure if I want to risk it. I should probably fuel it up before going out. So, I gotta boil some more potatoes. I did plant some potatoes and they should be grown by now. But I am honestly not too sure. There's our home. We should be seeing our helipad pretty quick here, hopefully. I see the furnace over there. Oh, and I, I kind of see the helipad being illuminated, even though it's not spawned in completely yet. Render in, little helipad. Oh, there it is. That is cool. Check it out. That's home right there. Now I'm going to land before I waste more fuel. Just a little over half a tank. So land this thing right in the middle. Boom. Successful uh, resource trip. I guess it wasn't the best. It was okay, I guess. I should have left more stuff at home. All right, so I'm going to have to drop off all these resources. I was able to get quite a few sticks, actually. Just drop this all here. I don't try to organize it too much, except this stick. It has to go back in its pile. There we go. And a little bit more clay. Clay is useful. And now that we're back home in the middle of the night from our little journey, it's time to head inside and take a nap. I should probably cook more food, though, because I don't know how much I have. I actually 
don't have any left. So we got to cook up this food. Look at this. I got seagulls here. Do I have a seagull in here? No, I do not. But I do have two seagulls. So I'm going to cut those up and eat those. Let's throw this on our smoker. I already have two chunks of meat up there. And let's start this fire with our kindling. And then when we wake up, we should have smoked food waiting for us. And the smoked food is awesome because it doesn't go bad as quick, which is really smart. Better than our little hobo stove, which was literally a barrel. Time to take a nap right here. And it is morning. The sun is rising. It's looking nice. Is our meat done? Our meat is totally smoked. What's my... Oh, my water is really low. <laughs> Luckily, I have this little clay jar filled with water. Okay, so let's go check on our potatoes. See if we have some excess potatoes we can take for our fuel. Oh, look, they're all grown. Dang, nice. Make sure it's all watered. I spent a lot of time tending to my crops here. They're super happy. You gotta make sure your plants are happy. If they're not happy, they... Dry up and die. <laughs> That's dark. Uh, all right. Fill this up. Oh, I don't have much water. Water that. That's okay. I can get some more going. I got a lot of palm fronds around here from all those trees I dropped down. Dropped down, you know? There we go. So let's go make some fuel. I got five potatoes. That should give us a full fuel still tank worth of fuel. Look at this. One, two, three four and I got one potato left over which I'm gonna put on my counter for supper later on actually I probably won't even eat it I probably I, I usually just save these potatoes for fuel but I want to have like a nice countertop of food look at that yep looking good <laughs> So I'm thinking I want to extend the house a little bit now that we got a lot of wood and extra materials. I don't think it will be made with full bricks. I'm going to have to get more clay to do that. But we're going to add like a little area back here. I want to build some stairs so we have a second floor eventually. This house is going to be super, super big. So let's go over here. Let's grab the clay that we do have to make some more foundations. The foundations are the most important. You want a nice, strong foundation with the strongest material you can find so it doesn't break over time. And then head over here and we'll make some more bricks. Okay, grab this. How much do we have? Perfect. We got two foundations. Let's make two more brick foundations. Extend our house a little bit. There we go. And then one up here as well. And there's our new brick foundations right there. If I want to build stairs up... How would I do that? Because I, I don't think it builds it in the middle. I think it builds it on the edge. Okay, I'm just going to remove this window right here. It might take a little bit. We got no resources back. But now we can walk through like that. And we got to figure out how to add these stairs upwards. I can put it there. And we would just have to jump up. Yeah, that works. Up here, we're going to remove part of our roof and add floors. We're doing some heavy renovations here. Destroying our house. I don't know how this is going to look. But if we could get a flat roof, that might look pretty neat. Okay, wood floor like this. I don't know if I really like how this looks. It, it's okay, but can I fall through this? <gasps> I can. That's not good. So we gotta go like this. And now we need to build the walls around that area there. Oh, maybe it can have the roof slanted and going up. And then have a floor up top. In here, what I'm going to do is add a floor so we have an upstairs area, maybe for storage and whatever. All right, so I just came back from journeying to another island, got a little more sticks, didn't have too much inventory room. Now, I don't know if I want to remove this wall here, but what I'm going to do is maybe a window right here. I can't really see through it, but it gives us some light upstairs. Starting to come along nicely. And then up here we can have storage for items or it'll just be like a lookout. And I'm going to add a half wall or two. It sucks that they don't have corner walls. Well, there we go. I think our house is done for now, even though it's a little discolored and not the same material. But that's okay. I'll probably change that up in the future once I do get more materials. But look at that. There's our house. It's pretty big now. And I'm thinking what I want to do is I want to bring all the stuff from the old hobo shack on the other side of the island and put it there. So we'll just throw the excess crates up here. This is the last crate right here. I got to bring my trophies all the way over to my new house, even though these ones are really ugly. And it is time to say goodbye to the hobo shack. I'm going to destroy it. See you later, hobo shack. This is the very last piece. Bye-bye. I don't know what's with those weird particles whenever I destroy something. Uh, they're strange. It is gone. We have successfully transferred everything from this side to our new side of the island. And it is beautiful.
It's the best looking thing so far, except our house does need improvements. Look at this. Wow. Okay, so on the inside, we have our trophies down right here. And then upstairs, this is the storage room. It was pretty tough to get these placed down, but I have them all in a line. They're accessible like that. I don't have them sorted. It's all right. Um, I'm going to add a bunch more stuff up here eventually. You can't go in this corner, which kind of sucks. And then down here, I'm going to move this smoker into the corner here, as well as maybe add some shelves all around here for the trophies. All right, so we're done with the house for now. If you guys have any suggestions, throw them down below in the comment section. I'm going to continue to expand this house, add more rooms, make it look a little better. Eventually, I want to make it bricks instead of this weird wood thatch looking thing there. And I think our fuel is not done because I didn't start it. But we do have fuel for future trips. And I think I'm going to put it in the boat, in the raft, unless you guys do want to see more gyrocopter adventures. I only really did one this episode, but we do have a nice helipad now. So that opens up a lot of possibilities. But anyways, for now, guys, that is pretty much it for this episode. We got quite a bit done. We got the helipad built, the new house, and etc. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to leave a like down below. It helps me quite a bit. And thank you guys for watching and subscribing. And remember, stay sweet. Bye.